Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 21 of Direwolf20's server play series. Soren! Yay! What's up? Nothing much. Are you streaming? Yes. I say that as if I haven't been talking to your stream for the last time. I know, it's right. like, if only you had been. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm streaming. Hi, stream! Oh. 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 <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Understood. Carry on. Say no more. <laughs> Did you take all my uh, fluid pipes? Uh, I'm just using them temporarily. So Actually, yes. no, I'm done with them. You sure? Because I can make more. I have the copper. Nope, I'm good. I'm already looking up the recipe. I'm already taking the copper out of the chest. <laughs> uh, why do you drop things one at a time? Because it's funnier. <laughs> I don't understand you <laughs> and the things you do. I noticed, because I've already seen your reaction to what I'm doing down here. Yeah, so please tell me you're not making 256 of these again. I'm not. My stream okay. talked me out of it. Okay, good stream. Good. <laughs> well I'm making done. 16. Okay. Well, I have a tank ready for biofuel, and I'm thinking boom, 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 like that. Would be kind of cool. Um, I'm thinking fluid ducts like this this and this and that that and that ought to do cool uh do i want power on the bottom and then liquid out the front i guess that would probably be your best bet i'm not too concerned with how things look down here because usually i'll just make soren fix it and then also that's fine I can probably just come right up the front here. So we can do like you guys straight down here. I've got my quartz kinesis pipes ready for one, two, three. Oh, you can also right click this to make it no longer connect to things. So that's a good little trick to just visually improve the way things look. You know I'm uh, impeding upon your um, little space down there, Soren. You were fine. Since I'm not doing 256, you're good. Okay. Good. I built this low for that reason, actually. <laughs> you built that low because you plan to do 256? Oh, that, and also that I knew you were building around here, too. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Stills are ready. Power's flowing. All right, we should, uh, at this point, be producing biofuel. Yay! I see it in the tank. Ethanol, look at it. Oh, it's going. Nice. Look at that, man. See? Thermal expansion, how fun you can be. <laughs> how easy that was. That's, that was easy. That was awesome is what it was. Look at that. <laughs> See the little contraption I built? And it's like yeah. perfect. I love being able to be compact like that. Yeah, rather than having to go one walk out then. Right. Nice. Precisely. I mean, if I was being super crazy compact, I could have used some of Tema's pipes, but I'm showing off the new thermal expansion stuff, so. Cool. So uh, we should now start making more fruit juice, and we should also therefore start making more biomass, because it's going to rapidly drain biomass to create ethanol and et cetera, et cetera. But that's okay. The whole thing should process rather well. The question is, um, is five combustion engines going to be enough to keep that whole line of machines running? And the answer is highly unlikely. So maybe we want to get a railcraft boiler going sooner rather than later. What do you think about that, Mr. Soren? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's this thing that I have to figure out how to do. Um, we're going to see. Oh, sad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to find Covert Jaguar because I don't know how to use his his um, fire crystal things. Oh, right. Yeah. Cracked fire stones. Yes, they will apparently help to um, heat up stuff. So firestone ore, huh? Okay. Becomes raw firestone. And then raw firestone. 
Interesting. Can become cut firestone. And then I don't know how the rest of this works. This will apparently really help to oh look at the charges, yes. Okay, so you can charge it up with lava, apparently. That's from what I understand. That becomes refined firestone. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what we want to get to. So mm -hmm. let me figure out what I want to do, and then I'll be right back to show you guys this new process. All right, guys, we're back, and I went out and found myself some slime trees, which I can get Ooh. congealed green slime from. Thank you very much, and start falling leaves. These, these ones are a little bit funny in that um, you actually have to, like, break one of the leaves before they start falling rapidly after they are harvested. Oh, good, I got more saplings. That's good news. See, like, it's not falling fast, but then, like, you break a couple leaves and then it just goes nuts falling fast. Zombies everywhere. Right? Yeah. Crazy amounts of zombies. Just trying to replant my trees. That's all here, guys. Back into the house. Where I hide from the many zombies that spawn. Alright, so that's step one of my crazy ridiculous plan to get this crazy ridiculous stuff that I need to get. We'll be back for step two. Alright, so that's step one. Step two, get a hazmat suit. So for this we're going to need hazmat leggings. Hazmat armor. Scuba helmet. And rubber boots. Rubber boots. Cool. Okay. Getting a little crazy, but don't worry. We're going uh -oh. to more of this, I promise. Where are we going? Hey. To the nether. <gasps> Z, okay. is there a reason we're firing on block added like that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I see why. Just so you guys know, I'm recording. That's fine. It's cool. You're welcome to continue. I just wanted to make sure you didn't say anything you didn't want to appear on stream. Team oh, Lemming yeah. sucks. Yeah. Well, oh, that's cool. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, is that new? I just thought everybody should know that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm going to an extremely dangerous place, so I'm taking off all my armor. Ooh, cool. I can actually um, use something like Okay. I mean, like, extremely dangerous. Yeah, you see the irony in that. <laughs> I make this great armor to protect myself, but when I go into danger, I take it off. I'm not taking that off. I'm taking off everything but that, noob. In fact, I need a better fix, I think. I am too. What did you do? Are we talking about clothes at this point? I was talking about armor. I'm not sure what's going on. No, that's. I'm taking off. I'm like. I'm removing all the items from my inventory. Like I'm completely emptying my inventory oh, okay. of all items. The only thing I'm wearing right now is my hazmat suit, and I have a couple potatoes and a couple other things that I need. That's all I'm going to bring all that with me. That makes more sense. I think, unfortunately, I am going to have to make a diamond pick here because I can't find any other picks that we already have that, like, are already able to mine something very hard. To mine. Well, like diamond level, or...? I think so. Do we have anything to mine? mine pick? Uh, I don't want to lose it, though. It doesn't have, like, all kinds of good stuff on it. Netherrack and moss. Yeah, I'm not going to lose that. I'll take a diamond pick. We have plenty of diamonds. <laughs> I have a looting three on my um, on my uh, thumbcraft thing, okay. so I'm pretty good. I went down and found a diamond node and pulled back 17 diamonds from one node. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, yeah. And then, like my portal. I should I mute my phone. It you should. It's going off. Yes. Yeah, so should I? Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't don't do that. 
It occurs to me I didn't bring a weapon with me, but we'll see how much trouble that gets me in. All the trouble. Right? Alright guys, back in a moment. Alright guys, we're back to recording. Why did I make a hazmat suit? I need to go jump into some lava. No oh, nose. Or <laughs> <Again>? not. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I placed one of your work tables next to a conduit. It crashed. Just because that was a convenient place. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. So I'm using uh, the sponges from Open Blocks. I'm using the hazmat suit from IC2, and I can go digging around underneath lava. Reason for that? Well, frankly, um, Firestone, which is what I'm looking for for a railcraft, spawns typically at the bottom of lava lakes. Oh my goodness! Did I just find one that quickly and easily? <laughs> that is yeah, awesome. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, I have to get that's out funny. of here now. Ah, oh, that's right. It's okay. I'll live. I got exceedingly lucky there. That's, That's really fun. awesome. I already got one. Haha. <laughs> that? I'm not even kidding you guys. I spent a long time in a single player world and I like got to the point where I started saying, okay, this stuff must be bugged and not spawning, but then I eventually found it. So <laughs> I don't know how rare it is, but I got really lucky by jumping in the lava there and just finding it. Now as long as these oh boy, these creepers don't kill me. Kill him, kill him! So there's like two fire creepers right here and some nasty looking stuff. If I can survive getting out of the nether now, I'll be in good shape. Running. Running. <laughs> oh. Yes. Ah! One of those spider things. I'm not replacing that pipe till they're all done. <laughs> Running. I'm gonna make it! I live! <laughs> Spiders can't get in here. <laughs> oh, that was close. Um, do yourselves a favor and don't get anywhere near wood when yeah, you're carrying this ore around. Because I'm pretty sure it randomly spawns fires nearby when you just have it in oh. your inventory. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding, dude. Okay. <laughs> it's serious business. So because that was super awesome and totally unexpected, I am like at a loss now. Because that was really cool that we got that that fast. All right, we're going to off. I should actually this. probably keep this thing on, especially if there's going to be fire nearby, because if I get lit on fire, that would be bad. All right, uh, let me just get back some of my stuff, and then I'm going to meet you guys. You know what I need to do? I need to prepare a little bit for some stuff, because uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get that that fast. So why don't I uh, prepare, and then we'll be right back when I'm ready. Good news, I have steel. Hey, elevator, why aren't you working? That's not good. Oh, there we go. Okay, lag maybe? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I have steel, because I need it. <laughs> I might start cooking up some more. While I'm at it. Why am I moving so slow? Likewise? No, it's because I don't have my boots of the travel on and I'm used to them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm gonna cook up a little bit more steel. Oh! Uh, and you vanilla moves. Oh, that works. <laughs> What's up? Hello, Aurelian. I bet they can be faster, but that works too. Hi! Ari! Wow. Hi, Soren. I have a question. Ow. Also, I'm recording. Six? Okay. Six told me that Mike made stencils for ponies. <laughs> Is that true? I don't... He said it in GIF. I don't oh, know okay. if anybody is watching the GIF at the but he did confirm it, but I don't know if it was throwing or not. At, it's not in game at the moment. I have to tell you that one. Oh. We have thermal expansion. Yeah. I mean, thermal expansion is cool, but pony but stencils. It's not ponies. Ponies. Yeah, but it's not ponies. All there. <laughs> well, Lemming, now we know what we're missing. Molten ponies. Thermal ponies. We, we, made, a, we made a joke about that, and Rupert did not like that. 
I even put up liquid in it just for a while, and then I had like ten people email me saying, "No, don't add that." I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was that? Molten ponies. <laughs> what? No! I can't imagine why not. Oh. Soren, you're a terrible person. You get it from adding low to the inferno chamber. What? And then you can get a pony mold, and then you add the molten pony to the pony mold. And it's cool. And you get a pony. And everything. And... Why wouldn't you just find your own pony? Because it's not special enough. Only if you could dye the molten pony. Like, if you could dye the molten pony, oh. like it was a white, and then you could put, like, pink in it, and then you could have a pink pony, that would be awesome. If it's part of the you die. could dye it. Yeah, I liquid it's... ice dye, and you can make it any color. Yeah, so there you go. There we go. That would, need... Then that would be okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to rename that the pony. Good. I don't know what's happening, and I'm <laughs> frightened and confused. But I'm going to get I'm the thing that starts fires. We're talking fires. about taking a pony and melting right. it down, and then adding colors, and then remolding it so that you can have a colored pony, like Are a pink pony. Or... We could add we could dye just... to the armor. It sounds so much worse when you say it like that. It does. Yeah, take, take a pony, and melt it down. I'm. Just staying out of this one, and I'm gonna make some firestone. How's that? Yeah, stay out of the open. Hey, look, firestone. I'm gonna see what happens if I put the firestone in a knapsack, because I'm curious if that would prevent it from ticking. Maybe, but why is it lightning and thundering like nonstop? I'm scared. I don't know. Do me a favor, follow me around, and make sure I don't light fire to the house. Um, <laughs> you're gonna light me on fire. I just don't like. This. Just make you're sure I don't burn down our house. Okay, sorry. Too. Try taking it out of your hat bar and see if it stops ticking. Like just in your inventory, not your hat bar. I tested that on single player. There is a uh, actual. Tick it doesn't work. Okay, There's putting it in, a, putting it in a knapsack, whatever, will definitely stop it though. Will it? Yeah. It's no one. Well, I don't know. Unless he specifically handed handled code for a knapsack, it'll stop. I know. I'm being cheaty, but that's what I do best. Or if he called the tick for knapsack too. All right, rock crusher. Firestone ore goes into the rock crusher. You can see it's burning everything around me. Uh, I get raw firestone ore, which will still burn things nearby. So careful with this stuff. <laughs> Hiding it in my knapsack so that it doesn't kill people. Uh, yeah, oh, good, cool. I like that. Soren, go look at that conduit in the corner that's red. Yeah. There we go, cut firestone. I apologize for the particle effects. <laughs> Cut Firestone will still burn things around you. Soren, do you, you want to see the awesomeness that's about to happen here? Would you like that to join like me? That is like some serious lag. Yeah. It's also Port Cup too. And it's lightning, thundering, and whatnot. And so rain. you can use buckets of lava, but I happen to have lava cells laying around, so that's what I'm using. Are you wearing a hazmat suit? Because what? it lights fire. I feel unsafe right now. <laughs> it's okay, it's in a crafting table, it should be safe. No, now I've I got still... refined I firestone. Feel safe. But I've should got refined firestone. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get some fire. You're safe. Come on out come to the nether with me and enjoy the um <laughs> the show of what's about to happen. <laughs> you too, okay. we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. I kind of traveled farish away in the. Are you wearing Sonic goggles or like what are you doing? What? Oh, what kind of hat do you have on? A panda. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Come over here and check this out. <laughs> so I kind of want to be far enough away because this will like destroy the lava when I put this in, and do this mechanic. So basically, what I created is a refined firestone, uh, which needs to be charged up with lava. It's a magical firestone of awesomeness, and in order to charge it with lava, you just throw it in. You ready to throw it in the lava sword? Okay. Oh no! Ah, there it goes. See it? Uh huh. Check out the cool particles. Uh huh. So it's absorbing all the lava. Ooh. Neat, right? Yeah. Now, does That's it go cool. down too, or is it just doing this layer? No, it goes down too. Oh my goodness. Also. Productive, if I can. Wow. Okay, not doing that anytime soon. 
Oh, that's an earth node in the lava in the nether. That's cool. Pretty neat, right? Uh huh. So this firestone gets charged up with all the lava, and uh, basically, yeah, we have to wait a little while for it to charge up because um, I think it, it can store 5,000 units of heat, and I want to say it's one unit per lava block that it absorbs, but I'm not really sure about that. Not not terribly sure. Let's let's put it that way. But yeah, see, look how it's pulling from right right here where we're standing. Even though like it's already pulled from there, like it's it's getting the the lava that's underneath us right now, underneath yeah. the layer below. Good way to make obsidian too. Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome, right? I'm I'm a big fan of this mechanic. It's cool. It's like I need to go like magically drain lava out of the nether <laughs> all right youtube we'll be back when it's done okay all done hooray five thousand out of five thousand we're done soren does this lead back home i presume yes okay good excellent so you know what's cool about refined firestone it's not going to set us on fire well, it's not going to set us on fire, but it also heats up boilers 30 times faster than regular fuel. Oh, uh, well. Right. Hello, Soren Chest. Yes. <laughs> that one was mandatory. Mandatory? You do it all the time when you go to the nether. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go get all the junk back that I left in the nether, and then YouTube will be back. The only downside to this, by the way, uh, before I wrap up this segment, is that um, it only works in solid fuel boilers. I believe that liquid fuel boilers have a to-do list item of being able to rapidly heat, but I don't know. I don't know if that's for sure or not, but definitely one downside is um, solid only. So I might go ahead and go with um, charcoal. Um, even though we're already producing biofuel, which reminds me, how are we doing with our ethanol? All right, I'm wrapping up the uh, segment, I promise. Come on, ethanol. <laughs> it's going. Yeah, it's cruising. Slowly but surely. We've 112 got a, buckets. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Nice. And we're doing really good with our fruit juice and our, our other stuff, so plenty of apples. Oh, we're getting a little bit low on apples, but not, not to the point where it's terrible. I have cobble. We have more apples back at our tree farm, so we'll be all right, I think. In fact, how is our tree farm doing? Not bad. We still have a decent amount of fertilizer in there. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, now we're wrapping up. Be right back. Jam the closest one to it, which is going to be the close, the one it came out of, because that's going to be the closest path. What if something like a... What are you doing, Soren? Well, this pulverizer there is going to make sand and gravel. Oh. And then this power furnace there is going to make stone. So ideally I'll need, uh, not this barrel, but three barrels. Okie dokie. Right. So my only problem, well, the only thing I was trying to figure out is these are okay. It's when I add this fourth barrel here for uh, glass. Right. Will this get jammed up when I add a furnace and a um, uh, furnace there? Beats me. What? Why are you expecting it to get jammed? It's the one pretty much... It's in between the two. Does it go back and then check to see if it's filled, or...? It'll go to the inventory, and if it can't go inside the inventory, it'll turn around and go back to the input. Okay. That's fine. So what are you making? And double the or triple? Turn red. Triple, just because I didn't see a need for any farther. Cool. And then all the things that cobblestone can make. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is better than the 256 <laughs> blocks. Yeah. Um, definitely a little better. I'll give you that much. <laughs> I guess if you want to test the lag created by this. <laughs> I know, that's not, that was kind of the point. Like, I want to try 256, so that might lag out just for a different reason. You are doing it within one chunk, so that's probably a good plan. Well, at least, <laughs> like, the, the creation of the stuff. Oh, yeah. I should have placed those. Well, I guess that's a good test for chunk batteries. Yeah, you'll be fine. What are you All trying right. to do? 
Uh, I'm just making everything from cobblestone. Oh. He's trying to get sand and gravel and glass and smooth stone, stone, and, stone. and bricks. Fair enough. Okay, cool. <laughs> How's our ethanol looking? Not bad. We're getting there with the ethanol. We are getting a little bit low on... Oh, am I out of apples? Yes, I am. Ooh. All right, let me relocate this guy. Luckily, I have some apples ready. Sixty-four, to be exact. Stacks, that is. There we go. Um, uh, don't use don't use leadstone conduits. Yeah, no, I was gonna. I was seeing what the yeah. difference was. Uh, Z, we have a couple of minor issues here. That sounds uh -oh. good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, maybe I'll push and let you figure this out. It's always good when you say minor. Right? Because you know he's well, minor. When he uh, says major, it takes like five minutes to fix. When he says minor, it takes like six hours. Yeah. It's true. All right. I think we're doing pretty good here, guys. We have a good amount of wood, which is actually a really good piece of news um, because it's going to significantly improve our um, ability to make... Uh, what I want to do He's next episode, probably, table. which is going to be a solid fuel boiler. So we're going to have to see how good this tree farm we have out there maintains a solid fuel boiler once we heat it up all the way. But um, the the heat from the Firestone should rapidly heat our boiler for us, which I'm going to wait till next episode for, because we're getting a little close to the wrapping up point here. Maybe I'll, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll at the very least get some stuff going here. So if I want a solid fuel boiler, which is what I decided, boom, nine of those. Um, I haven't decided on the exact size I want to go with, if I want to go full size or not, because I'm thinking if I went three by two by two or three by three by two, yeah, that one, um, that would give me, right, three by three, nine, 18. That would give me enough for nine commercial or industrial steam engines, which should be pretty darn close to enough. Um, I might wind up doing that. So if I went three by two by two, or three by three by two, I mean, so that's 18. I think I'm gonna do that. That'll at least get us started. And then I can always, you know, bump it up later to a higher one. So for that, I'm gonna need 36 steel plates. Let's make that happen. So 36 I'm going to need. That should do. Okay, cool. Be right back. All right, Soren, so where do you want to put this thing? That is a good question, sir. Um... So I'm making a half height one, so it's not quite as large as, you know, it, it would be otherwise, but... I mean, it could really kind of go anywhere. Probably down here, I'm yeah. guessing, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're probably going to have a handful more liquid tanks going across the wall here. I could stick it in the wall here. Ooh, that'd be nice. I just don't want to... I want to make sure that it's accessible to all the, the engines that we want to put around. I'm going to need to put nine engines. So I'm not sure I want to put it in the wall, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, here would actually be a really good spot. Maybe I should um, break this fuel thing. I I'm going to break it. the fuel yeah. setup. I'm going to let um, all the oil we have burn out of here. Like, it'll let it convert all the oil. And then, because um, I don't want to lose all the oil and fuel that's in there. But I think about here is probably where I'm going to build it. So it's going to just take a little bit of time for us to burn through all that oil. But once we do, I'll uh, I'll move it. I think that's the plan. And then mm -hmm. um, we could probably have our engines out here still, like we do right now. Or we don't need to. We could have our engines inside, uh, behind the walls, and just the energy flowing around. It doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out. All right, be right back. And with that, guys, I think we unfortunately do have to wrap up the episode. 
What are you doing? Stealing fuel. Okay. You may borrow some, sir. <laughs> I wouldn't call it stealing. I'm like, hey, where'd all that fuel go? What are you doing? <laughs> Make it go faster. <laughs> okay, you're the boss. So next episode we'll be back. We'll maybe get a steam boiler up and running. Um, I'm thinking that's probably what will happen. Uh, once we have that steam boiler up and running, hopefully we'll have a solid amount of ethanol ready to go into it. See? Lots of ethanol being produced. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. So for now, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.